You got everything, Mark. Yeah, I got everything. He just went through his checklist. As you can see, we're going on a bike ride. We're hitting uh, probably my favorite trail here in Milwaukee. We're still at State Fair Park. And the bonus here is uh, Pat and Paul are here. Yeah. Yay! They're coming from the East Coast and they're making their way back to uh, Minnesota. And they stopped for a few days. So we're going to take them on our favorite bike ride, go to the lakefront, and stop at one of my favorite um, coffee shops, Collectivo, on the lakefront. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you watch the channel for any amount of time and if these mm -hmm. videos are sequential, you'll know that we're having problems with our uh, gray tank and probably going to have our entire wet bay rebuilt, like rip oh everything boy. out and put all brand new. So what does Paul do? He offers to help me do it. In fact, Tim and Ann, some people that we also RV with, they said, hey, why don't you come to Pennsylvania and we've got a giant garage that's heated. Giant. You know, giant three, deluxe. Three big rigs can fit in there. Yeah. That's what Paul said. Yeah, yeah, like something like Tony Stark would have, you know, really <laughs> awesome. So those are friends. And I'm a friend to them too, because I'm not gonna subject them to I was gonna to say, we're not gonna take them up on it. But yeah. I did get ready for today's bike ride. You can't tell, but underneath here, I have a nice Harvest Host black shirt. Oh. And I put that on because I had all yellow on, except I looked like a dirigible rather than a YouTuber. <laughs> so I put this black shirt on to trick people. Oh my God. So Hopefully well, we'll see that shirt later. Yeah, so you what know. we're gonna do is we're gonna just show you one of the more fun things about RVing is bike riding. And we know us, that a yes. lot of uh, of our bike riding videos in the past don't get near the views. It's not because the videos aren't as good, it's they don't get the, the click. You yeah. know, so if we put a, a clickbait thing on there and people actually watched it, maybe they would I like told it. Mark, show some cleavage, maybe we'll get it. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna work on that later <laughs> today. <laughs> Okay, just uh, to let you know, this is our attempt at doing a run and gun where we just record things as we go along and uh, just string the video together as we're editing. And I'm going to say right now, we really suck at this. That's why this is our attempt. And we failed, I'll be honest. So we did this once, um, did our run down to the lakefront, and not even halfway through, the audio wasn't on. So somewhere when I'm pulling out my iPhone and microphone, it got unplugged. So you're going to see in this video how we kind of flip uh, what we're wearing is back and forth. You'll be able to see what was recorded then and what was uh, recorded now. And like I said, run and gun, when you string it all together, uh, I can't help myself but do a little bit more editing than just that. So anyways, let's get on with our bike ride. But the reality is, is that bike riding videos don't do it. Now I want you to Sue, show this bike. We've had these e-bikes. These are the Elux Malibu GT bike. Yeah. And this thing is actually, uh, the, the company is actually in California. These bikes have been super reliable. Oh, we love them. Yeah, the Elux uh, Malibu GT. It's a pretty expensive bike. It's somewhere between 2,500 and 3,000 depending upon you know the way that which way the wind is blowing but if you look at this battery here it's a giant 21 ampere hour battery you see this big bulge on the side it's not symmetrical to this frame we can go a good honest to goodness 60 miles with these things really takes the range anxiety out but the last thing I want to say is that when people buy bikes that fold up and they got the tiny tires yes they're an e-bike Yes, they have fun riding it probably, but you aren't gonna tell me that they're consistently going on 25 and 35 mile rides, which on an e-bike is easy if it's comfortable, and you need a ride that's that long to pedal it enough to get a reasonable amount of exercise. If your riding position isn't comfortable, if your seat isn't a big giant gel one like this, if you don't have a linkage to absorb the bumps, if you don't have a hydraulic cylinder in here, if you don't have reasonable sized tires 
These are 26 inch tires, not the tiny little baby ones. We've got a shock absorber front fork. These are about as comfortable as you're gonna get. And the problem, the reason people buy the fold up ones is they're, they're much easier to transport. Sure. But you know what, here's the deal. If it's easy to transport but hard to ride, you ain't gonna ride it. So get one that's fun and easy to ride and hard to transport. Flip it around, you'll be a lot happier. So we're getting ready, plugging in our GPS, even though we know what we're doing, we think. So you can see uh, there's Patton Falls Dutch Star and we don't have a gray bus right now, we have a white bus. Just got their pickup truck. There are so many things we love about riding this Hank Aaron Trail. One being it's right next to the RV park. And we ride past a lot of Milwaukee's highlights, which we'll be showing you. Plus, it's just a trail with variety, biking through nature and urban city. So last time we took a ride here, we're riding and all of a sudden we had a detour and I was almost tempted, I'm gonna drive through that detour and I'm gonna, but I didn't, I followed the detour and get around. Well, today, temporarily, they've got this all cleaned up, we're able to use it, but I'm sure in a few days, they're gonna be putting the detour back up because they're just doing, you know, a slight, you know, a few repairs on this bridge here, but shouldn't be long, you know, it'll be done. So uh, let's continue on our trek, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're staying at the Wisconsin State RV Park. We're on our way to the lakefront, our favorite coffee shop, Collectivo Coffee, to have our muffin that we got at Costco. We're actually gonna buy a latte. We're not that cheap. <laughs> So as part of your special tour, I just wanted to tell you, rather than just blow through here, this whole area around here, and it might literally be half mile and one mile radius. This is a giant complex that's the Veterans uh, Administration for Disabled Vets and the uh, administration offices and medical and stuff like that. And this building has been in disarray probably 30, 40 years and has always been roped off. And We thought know, they were gonna tear yeah. it down, it was so bad. All the windows broken out, I mean, it was a mess. I'm looking at it now, yeah. it's like, what a gem. Yeah. I think our audience will notice what awesome YouTubers we are to show this just by chance you were able to get me oh, you know, ever so disinterested mm. by you and yet, yet you're catching it mm. you know, I mean I mean you talk about exciting action it's unbelievable all right so we're taking a little stop here to check out the this Milwaukee soldiers home which was built in 1869 and it uh it's been refurbished over the past, I don't know, less than a decade. $44 million, I read, is what they put into it. But look at the detail. So, we just came off the um, bike trail, and as you can see in the difference, there's the stadium. We like taking this uh, kind of roundabout way. It's just a little more interesting, and it gets us off the straight shot. So, it's our baseball stadium here in Milwaukee. And driving around the stadium is pretty cool when there's not a game to really check out things. There's some really neat spots for photo ops also. This is one of the cool changes on the trail. Right next to the stadium parking, we go down along the river and it's beautiful with all the wildflowers. So one of the things that we're learning on today's mission to learn how to run and gun is we're just going to use one microphone. And we've got Sue coming down here and typical YouTube trick where you send one camera ahead or you leave a camera behind. Uh, the other trick we're going to have to learn is to turn the microphones off in case one or the other person decides to choke or blow their nose or whatever. Yeah, just like Sue just did there because she heard me. Yeah. So one camera will allow us to just use all of the footage coming off that camera and not have to monkey around juggling different things. We're learning already on the test that we're taking you along with. 
I mainly want to say, look at this beautiful scenery. It's not just all city. This is a great trail, the Hank Garren Trail. Uh, One of the other things that we're learning is that we have to learn when each to stop talking so that when we turn the video off, we don't have audio that's chopped up. As we continue over a railroad viaduct, we make our way back along the river where we come across different sculptures and historical plaques. And then there's the Potawatomi Casino that we pass, if you feel like doing some gaming. And again, we're coming off the trail to take the path behind the Harley Museum along the river. And here's an example of the many stops we make because we come across something we need to take a look at. Check this out. Another beautiful part of the city, kind of tucked behind the Harley Museum. So if you come off the Hank Aaron Trail and the bike trail, this is what you see. Pretty nice. All right, before we leave the Harley Museum, I want to go back and show you a bit of what it was like to be at the State Fair RV Park during the Harley's 120th anniversary this past July. All right, it's July 2023 and we're in Milwaukee. It is Harley's 120th anniversary and Mark and I are going to do something crazy. You can see we have our e-bikes out. Today is their last day of this long weekend of party, party, party. And they're having this huge parade from the stadium um, downtown to the lakefront to Veterans Park where they're having, uh, oh, they've got this huge stage and all kinds of other uh, things going on there. <clears throat> We're going to try to get into the parade with these bikes. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that they're going to let us. You know why? <laughs> because we have Because you're wearing Sturgis. Your Sturgis well, that, that was step one. But step <laughs> two that really made us decide to participate in the parade today was that a couple of days ago when we were walking around in the RV park, we got to meet two subscribers, yeah. Don and Annie. Yeah, yeah. And uh, immediately uh, really liked these guys, especially because they let us sit on their mo motorcycles to, to feel what it's like. But unbeknownst to us last night when we were at a party, I ended up getting Okay, let me, let me clarify. We were at a party. It wasn't a Harley party. It was a garden party. It was awesome. One of our friends. So we, we kind of did a, <laughs> the yin and yang of this weekend. But when we came back, this was in a little package. And I'm bringing it now because it's going to be hot riding, but it's cool. And I'm going to be changing into my colors. Ah. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. And look at this. Logo on the front. So I look cool in the front awesome logo on the back As so that when away. i'm leaving you're missing me because my shirt is so cool <laughs> actually the cool thing is we're taking the um bike trail it goes right to the stadium where everybody's gathering for the parade and then we're going to go a little further past the harley museum this this trail is awesome so we'll kind of see what's going on there and the trail will take us right down to the lakefront to veterans park that's where the the climax of all this party stuff is happening. Right, and we took the Bose speaker along. I've been practicing making Harley noises. <laughs> yeah. Oh, water. Is he good or what? What do you think? Yeah, I'm convinced. <laughs> Let's ride. Excellent. Nice. It's real, honey. You're part of the parade. Yeah, well, you know.
looks like we are at the end of the uh, parade. Definitely at the end of the parade. But oh, wait, wait, wait. We have one more bike rider. Oh yeah. It's the Chan Man. You go, honey. Okay, back to the run and gun attempt. If you cross to the other side of the street from the Harley Museum, there's a curved ramp that takes you back down to the river. And there are parts where we ride on the street, but there are designated bike lanes. So this is actually Lakeshore Park. It's a state park. And it's a man-made island. They put it right across from the Summerfest grounds. I have to say the um, skyline at the lakefront's pretty. I like it. And obviously, this is one of the clips that has no audio, but I wanted to point out the Discovery World Science and Technology Museum. It's really awesome. And in the summer, they have concerts on this mini amphitheater that's right along the lake. And we actually did partake in a few of them. Check out this cruise ship. It was in 2017 that marked a turning point for cruise ships to dock in Milwaukee. And with the growing interest in cruising on the Great Lakes, smaller cruise ships can dock here at Pier Wisconsin. And I also read that they're adding a larger dock on the South Shore. How cool is that? And now we're passing the Milwaukee Art Museum's Calatrava building. The design was inspired by the shape of a sailboat, which you'll see many in the breakwater and beyond on a good wind day. And beyond here you can see the marina and all the sailboats. They actually have a really nice sailing center over there, and I took lessons maybe about 20 years ago. After a few hours of luxuriating at the cafe, which is pretty typical for us, a few hours, we're on our way back past the marina. And right behind the Summerfest grounds, we got a bonus. Here's a bonus cruise ship on uh, for the La Great Lakes. Wow. This is so unusual to see this here, it's got to be something new. A cruise ship, wow. And Mark is their entertainment. Woo! Oh my god, Mark. Oh jeez. Wow. Look at all those happy vacationing people. Wow. All right, the cruise ship is off and so are we. So this is actually the end of our run and gun. We're giving it a try to see how this goes. So we just record um, what we're doing, where we're going and string it together. Fast, easy editing. So we'll see how this goes. Famous last minute 
it'll take a 40 hour typical editing per week down to 20. <laughs> a lot of work. It's still. Let me go lock my bike up, honey. Yeah, good plan. So we're coming to the end, and not just of this video, but actually of our stay here at Wisconsin State Fair Park. And I just want to do a couple shout outs. No, more than a couple. We've been here all summer, um, and we met so many people. A lot of subscribers actually stopped and said hello. We love that when people stop and talk. So I want to give a shout out like uh, we did to Don and Annie, who let us ride their Harley. But I also want to say thanks for taking the time to stop and talk to us and uh, actually had lunch with a few people. So I want to say thanks to Mike, Libby, Taryn, and Andy, Don, Kathy, Matt, and Robin. Had a great lunch with them. There's Chuck and Cindy who are just driving through after State Fair and stopped and said hi. And there's Reggie. Chris and Dan, we actually met these two guys at the Wisconsin State Fair. Took my grandson there with Mark, and um, these guys just came up to us and said, love your channel. We kind of meet a lot of people in RV parks, very surprised when we run into people who know us that uh, aren't even RVers and aren't even in an RV park. So that was fun. Thanks, Chris and Dan. And I also want to say hi to Mario and Christy. And of course, there's a number of people that we didn't get um, their names or photos. And I feel really bad we didn't get any photos of some people we actually spent a lot of time with, like Curtis and Darlene, Tom and Jan, Jim and Vicki, and Steve and Sue. I think we we're just too caught up in conversation. So we forgot the photos. Oops, wait a minute. Found Steve and Sue's photo. And then... Um, Towards the end of our stay here, I had a family reunion and my cousin was there. Well, we are still in Wisconsin and this is actually my cousin Linda. We're the same, we're the same age and we love the same color. Anyways, um, we're in Wisconsin at a family reunion and Linda and her husband Scott watch our videos every Sunday after church. <laughs> so we just had to share. This is our family fun. All right. You know what? If they, yeah, if they would uh, just convince the rest of our really huge family to su subscribe, we get your limit. We we'd be doubled. Yeah. Yeah. Let's work on that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next week. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, help us get to 100. We're about 40,000 or something. Not even halfway there, but help us get there. Leave a comment below. We love hearing from you guys. And uh, ring the bell, notification, give us a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll see you next week.